How much of your life do you remember? I feel like we put a lot of effort into remembering things. I'm sitting in class, they're talking about some guy from 1508. How do you even know who that is? I don't even know who I am yet. I'm supposed to remember who that guy is? It's interesting because I don't think that we remember most of the little things that happen in life. For example, you're probably not gonna remember that I said this by the end of this video. Let's be honest, you won't. I'll test you, we'll see. If you do, you win a little cookie, all right? How about that? It's a nice little incentive. Do you even remember that I started this video off with a completely different shirt on? You already forgot about that, didn't you? It's not looking good for you, bruv. I spent so much time trying to hold on to these little moments in life. I take constant pictures, I have journal entries, I make playlists of places that I've been and all the songs that I listened to while I was there. I just try to feel like I was there and I don't want to lose those tiny moments. Recently, my phone got destroyed at the beach and I lost all of that. Four years of photos and videos, like probably like 40,000 pictures. And no, I didn't put them in the cloud, all right? I don't trust the cloud. I've seen nope. I regret it now, yes. I would literally pay $1,000 for those pictures back. Like they're, they're priceless to me. I'd rather have those memories than any car, clothes. I don't care about any of that stuff. I have two pairs of shoes, a couple pairs of jeans and 365 pairs of underwear, all right? I, I keep it modest. It's the little things that make me the happiest. The tiny conversations with people that we would definitely forget. Moments when you're driving and there's a sunset and there's a perfect song playing. I don't wanna forget this stuff, man. I spent so much time trying to remember these things and they're all gone now. I spent all that time collecting and organizing pictures and I just lost them all because I didn't trust Tim Apple. I was really like, bro, what is the point of remembering anything? It's like, bro, our ancestors didn't have any of this stuff to remember anything. 300 years ago, if, if you don't remember what happened, that day is lost to time. It's gone. You could have wrote a journal or something. If you didn't, it's a wrap. If they forgot something, they just forgot, okay? <laughs> like if I, if I want to remember anything, oh yeah, what happened in June of 2018? I could just literally go and look into the archives and see exactly what I was doing that day. But I wonder if they had a stronger memory just because they had to recall information. Hey, are we like losing the memory muscle? Bro, I set alarms to remind myself of something and in 30 minutes the alarm goes off and I don't remember why. I even set the alarm. Where's my keys? Where's my phone? Where'd I put the remote? My charger? Ah! Bro, I'm moving like Dory. I might have been overdoing it when I was taking all of these pictures. At a certain point, I think I was keeping myself from living in the moment. My thinking was, if I forget the moment, what's the point? Did it even happen? Like memory might be a top three most interesting thing to me in life. You can create memories about things that didn't even happen. Like you can be a witness at a crime scene and remember something completely different to how it actually went down. Sometimes I just like to create memories and convince myself they actually happened. Cause why not just trick my brain a little bit. Dang, remember my ex, Kimberly. <laughs> she was beautiful. I hope she's doing well. She's not real. That never happened. Whoa. As humans, we're just a forgetful people. That's how addictions start, dude. You can say, I hate this thing, it sucks, I'm never doing it again. And then suddenly you blink, and you're back there doing what you just told yourself you'd never do. What happened? You forgot. It goes a little deeper than that, but even with overthinking, I'm like, I'm done overthinking. But how can I be done overthinking if I have already thought that I'm thinking about the thought of thinking overly? Like a dream about a thought that could think of the dream of the thought. I think forgetting is just like a scary concept to me in general. We can have a whole conversation. And I think back to it like 10 seconds later. I'm like, what did we even just talk about? Where did that conversation go? It's gone. I'm gonna be honest with you. I completely forgot that leaves even change color in the fall. Like the fall just appeared and I was like, oh yeah. That does happen. That's just the brain retaining what it considers to be the most important information and leaving out what it doesn't think that. All right, I don't know, bro. This isn't Vsauce, all right? I was making that up. I don't know. I'm just here to talk about how this stuff feels. That's why I think Alzheimer's is like the scariest disease to me. At least top three. Like if we were to make a tier list, that is an S tier disease in terms of scariness. The idea of forgetting family members you've known your whole life is terrifying. Uh, this video is getting too dark. What were we talking about? Hey. I don't think it's crazy to say that we are our memories, basically. Everything I've done to this point has led me to who I am right now. If I forgot all of that, who would I be? I would be a blank, I would be a blank slate. If something bad happened, I'm not gonna do it again because last time I did it, it went poorly. I think memories are important to me because they give me the big picture. Literally. I like them because it reminds me that everything is fine. Today seems bad, but in the grand scheme of things, today is just a day in a sea of a lot of days. And there were a lot of great days. Something great might have happened last month that I just completely forgot about. The memories with friends, the accomplishments that I've had, the fact that I've been stressed before and made it out. Like I look back to certain moments where I was like, I read my journal entries where I was stressed about certain things and I look, I'm like, bro, 
<laughs> what were you worried about? I love how there's so many ways to remember. Like you could taste food and it takes you back to a certain time. You can just smell something and it takes you to 15 years ago. Bro, you've seen uh, you've seen Ratatouille. You know how this works. I have a pretty good memory when it comes to remembering moments related to music or film. Like if you tell me the name of any movie or album that came out in the last 20 years, I'll tell you what year it came out. Maybe down to the month. Basically, I know a lot of pointless stuff. By the way, the movie Holes came out in April 2003 and made about 70 mil in the box office. This is just information I know. One of my favorite new artists right now, Fred again. And he uses voice clips from people that he was around and he like puts them together and makes music out of moments in his life And that's a beautiful thing now. He's sharing those moments and people are creating new moments in their lives, bro it's actually lit. I just realized that. He is creating music out of the moments in his life that he can remember now forever. And now people are dancing to his music, creating new moments in their lives. Bro, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. But forgetting is also a good thing. I'm realizing forgetting is actually pretty underrated. Because you don't want to remember everything. There's some things I wish I could just eternal sunshine wipe out of my mind. I don't want to remember a lot of the times where people were mean to me. I don't want to dwell on that and make it like my identity. Like, oh, I have to show those people. I have to prove all those people wrong. And at that point, I'm living for those people. Matthew from gym class in fourth grade, I remember. He said, I'll never be anything. I'm gonna show him. Matthew from gym class is in jail for manslaughter. He doesn't care. He has bigger things to worry about than you. Forgetting gives you a chance to heal. The distance away from things in time makes it easier to get over things. The thing is, if you spend so much time trying to remember, you don't actually enjoy what you're trying to remember. Whenever I would be trying to like take these pictures and do whatever to capture this moment just so I wouldn't forget it, I'm only enjoying this thing in hindsight when I look in the pictures and I'm like, oh wow, that was a great time. But when I was actually in the moment, I was stressed out. Try to make sure I remembered it. Does this make any sense? I don't even post like that on Instagram anymore. Actually, I just did start doing that again. Follow me right here, bye. But whenever I do, it's even more stress. Trying to figure out the exact right amount of slides to do, trying to get the right caption, trying to make sure my memories are perfect for everybody else. Forget that, man. You know what, I'm back off Instagram. Lately, I've been trying to allow myself to forget things. Living in the moment, knowing I might just not remember this, but I just get to enjoy it while it's here. The thing is, how do you remember the right things and in the right way? Some people have great memories, and then all they do is remember Remember the bad things that ever happened to them. It's me, by the way. I, I'm some people. Sometimes the bad things stick out more. The thing is, sometimes you choose what to remember. It's easy to forget the hundred amazing things that happen in life and just feel focused that you have to get to the next amazing thing. Thinking that number 101 will make you the happiest. Sometimes your memory isn't the reality. You have to get out of your own head and look at what your life actually is. But your memory is what shapes your perspective and your perspective is what shapes bas basically how you do everything in life. I'm trying to remember the people that supported me instead of the ones that didn't. Remember the times where things went right instead of when they went wrong. Remember the time by Michael Jackson? I'm trying to journal more, remind myself of what I have instead of what I don't. Just trying to focus my memory on what would shape my perspective better. Instead of being on Instagram posting every day, y'all didn't believe in me, look at me now. The comments are like, brother, we still don't believe in you. Moral of the story is, uh, back up your phone. What you're watching right now, you'll probably forget by tomorrow. You'll probably forget that you ever even watched this video. What I'm saying right now, I won't remember in a year, but that's okay. Isn't it nice that we're just here right now in this moment right here with me and you? What's going on? This is fun. Does anyone relate to this or am I just talking into the void? Let me know. Leave a comment saying anything that you want to remember and you can come back and look at this video and be like, oh yeah, that's what it was. You might as well like this video because let's be honest, it's a modest classic. And you thought I wasn't going to test you that thing from the beginning of the video. You forgot about that, didn't you? Do you remember that I said this? <laughs> well, you probably won't remember what I'm saying right now at the end of this video. I have two belly buttons. I don't know how you forgot that I said that. <laughs> I told you we weren't going to remember. You're finished. Check, check.